Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. So I just want to say, uh, I've been saying it for ages and I really do want to make you aware because they are coming, right? All of these changes that I've been talking about, they're coming and I just want you to know that the weeklies and the monthlies will be returning but they will be going behind a membership paywall here on YouTube. So uh, just want to give you a fair heads up, right? You've got plenty of time to start making your preparations uh, and don't worry, they're going to be super, super affordable. All right, anyway, with that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, ooh, let's have a look shall we? <laughs> Alright, you've got the temperance card. Okay, so this card has been coming up a lot for me recently and you know aside from its other meanings temperance really is all about balance. It's about finding the right blend of this and that so that you can find a happy medium and or whole in some way shape or form. That was a jumping card that flipped itself uh, the other way up. Now uh, that being said the other thing about temperance, temperance is really about alignment. If the magician card is as above so below, the temperance card is as within so without. If you know anything about the manifesting game then you will know that in order to manifest anything and keep it in your life you have to change your vibration you have to be an energetic and spiritual frequency match for the thing that you desire to have in your life all right so for your actions and options you've got the seven of cups now it's interesting because this card can represent confusion in a lot of ways and very often when this card shows up i tell my clients to streamline their focus to take something off the plate now in terms of your actions and options this is about what you do what you initiate into the world and so this week you are simplifying it right you're taking away what is superfluous you're getting rid of what doesn't what isn't needed and all of this through the guise of temperance to say right to do this this and this is going to be too much so let me take out a little bit of this and a little bit of this and what i have left is not only manageable but it's where like and this is happening for me in my work as well right it's like i'm looking at everything now and thinking okay well what is actually sustainable versus you know what i want to do as well it's got to be a balance it's got to be a mix of all of those things in terms of the options that are available to you this card specifically in this deck um can actually represent opportunities coming in so this with the temperance card you know the thing about opportunities is we don't always have to say yes right and if we think one is truly worth our time our effort and our value then maybe we have to let something else go in the process of welcoming this new opportunity in so this week you really are finding the balance point for your communications and conversations you have the mother of pentacles so this is the queen of pentacles um love this right so your communications really are this week they're focused around what brings growth what brings growth, what increases the yield of whatever I'm working on or doing, whatever I'm putting my time, effort and energy, worth and value and self into, is it going to be amplified? That's the question on your lips this week in all of the conversations that you're having. Now, for those of you that are, um, oh, come on brain. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this could be you connecting with somebody likely to be an earth sign woman, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, who's really showing you where the balance point is, right? So for those, in fact, for all of you across the board, it could be an earth sign woman that really helps you figure this out or hash some of it out. Now, the other way that this could also show up for you, if you're studying, this might be about you saying, okay, you know what? last term or last year in, in my studies I put you know 50 60 hour work, work weeks in you know at my work it's just not sustainable I can't do that anymore so you're looking for what brings self-care but also what brings growth all right you're finding or looking for the balance point this week if you are employed by somebody else it's the same kind of thing this week for those of you that are employed but one difference that comes in here is you're starting to really take stock of how much you've grown in the scope of the work that you do 
And this is where you start to really think about, okay, am I in the right place for myself? Is this the right work for me? And if not, what am I prepared to do about it? For those of you that are um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, same kind of story, right? But one of the ways that I think this differs for you guys is you're taking stock of all of that knowledge and you're starting to think about one, how you can apply it in different ways or different sectors, and two, um, it looks like you're starting to think about maybe your price point, right? Like what that looks like, what type of people you want to work with, what clientele you're looking to interact with. All of it seems to be coming up for a shift right now. And I know for myself, even though I'm, uh, you know, I'm obviously, as you know, I'm an Aquarius sun, all of these things seem to be happening. So for me personally, this is bang on. I don't know about anybody else. For your uh, love and relations, you've got the Eight of Wands. I love this, right? So the Eight of Wands and the Temperance card can actually represent land, as in literal land, right? Now, um, one of the things that I will say to you is, if you are partnered, married, or in a long-term commitment, if you are planning to purchase land, if you're planning to uh, buy something or do something along those lines, this week take some time to really think about whether this is actually financially viable for you at this moment in time for those of you that are another way that you could see this um for those of you that are partnered married or in a long-term commitment this week you could be seeing a counselor a therapist a couples counselor um maybe you even go to a couples therapy coach or something along those lines for those of you that are single and looking to mingle, it's very likely to be in a very rural setting that you're likely to, to meet or to connect with someone this week. So, you know, get out and about into your local spaces uh, to see if there are connections for you to be made. And then in your money and materials, you have the magician card. What a great card for money, right? So Mercury is the money master. Everyone says Venus and Venus is values and Jupiter is blessings. But truthfully speaking, money and the flow of money is Mercury, right? Is the mercurial stuff. Um, as of the end of this week, when I'm filming these, Mercury will finally, well, no, actually, as the week that I'm reading for, which is the, um, the 26th of August onwards. So as of this week, Mercury will go direct. So this actually bodes very well for your resources. One thing that I will say to you is, whatever you have learned about money over the course of this last Mercury retrograde that started at the beginning of August and ends at the end of August, pay attention to those lessons and start putting them into practice. Don't just look at this as a, oh, you know, I've survived the Mercury retrograde. Start really paying attention to or looking at what did I learn about money, my money, my resources, the flow of my resources while Mercury was retrograde. And now you have to start implementing those lessons. For those of you, uh, sorry, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is gonna be mind stuff. So it's possible that this week could be quite mentally taxing. So just keep an eye out on that. Um, and then for your home and environment, honestly, whether you are so inclined or not, this is a week to do some kind of spiritual work in, for, or around your home. All right, like this is the, the week to do it. Now, with that said, uh, just quick reminder, the weeklies and the monthlies are coming back, but um, they will be going behind a paywall. They'll be as part of the membership here on YouTube. Um, so keep that in mind. If you wanna get your personal session with me, you can do so on the link in the description box below. Take care and I'll see you soon.